Hi, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been constructing fish farms for more than 10 years. In my last video, we have talked about how to choose the right type of fish for farming in RAS. We sorted out the 7 major mistakes and life hacks on how to decide the right type of fish as well as farm capacity. We also considered special aspects of growing sturgeons in RAS. And today we continue, and we will discuss growing such interesting fish species as trout and African catfish. Now let's have a closer look at the next type of fish, which is trout. What is trout? First, let's talk about farming conditions. The temperature in RAS is 15-17 degrees Celsius. It grows up to 1,300-1,500 grams per year. The stocking material can be both fertilized eggs and fry. The fish is not bottom-dwelling, so tanks can be really deep. It has stocking density of up to 100 kilograms or even up to 120 kilograms per cubic meter. And you can get three, even four times more trout than sturgeon, provided that the building area will be just the same. Therefore, the overall capital costs are lower than those for farming sturgeon. What the major advantage of growing trout? It's a huge market, and this type of fish is recognized and valued by the consumers. Just enter any store market. Trout is everywhere. Even if there is no display on the ice in this store, it's present in the form of lightly salted fillets. And there is a huge number of producers, so you will have a great choice. And if you pass by a store that sells fish displayed on ice, chilled, you will find trout in any case. I can't recollect a single shop that doesn't sell trout in this or other form. It's everywhere objectively, and therefore it's well known. It's very easy to build up strong sales for this type of fish. Of course, customers won't come to you and queue up in front of your door on their own initiative. It's utopia, but it's much easier than with sturgeon or African catfish. There are several options of trout weight for sale. First, it's portion or plate-sized trout. What is it? It has the weight of 300-500 grams. This fish is not used for processing. It's purely chilled and is mostly served in restaurants. You can put it on ice in the shop too. It could be baked and it's for one person only. Thus, it's just cooked and not processed in any way. The prices for this weight are usually lower than for the following weight options. Further, there is a such an interesting weight from 800 grams to 1.5 kilograms. This is what I call a strange weight, because it's unclear what to do with it. But some manage to smoke it, others also sell it on ice. So in principle, it's also possible to sell this or that way. And the most popular product is trout from 1.5 kilograms and even up to 5 or 6 kilograms. It's exactly the weight that is in demand for processing. Well, of course, it's also sold in a chilled form, but it's very actively processed for lightly salted fillets, steaks, as well as for many other final products that you see in the stores. And if you farm trout up to this weight, you should actively work with processors, with wholesalers, as that is the segment where you can make the strongest sales. Every year about 50 or 60 thousand tons of salmons farmed in Russia, for example. And the consumption makes 200 thousand tons, even more for redfish. Thus, most of the salmons are imported to Russia. Where from? Certainly from Norway, the Faroe Islands and Chile. All the fish comes from there. These are the major exporters of salmons, at least to my country. In even your country, the situation with the volume of imported fish is different, and you want to share this information? Be sure to leave your comment below. As for the disadvantages of trout, what do you need to pay attention to? Of course, it's more demanding in terms of farming conditions. It requires colder, more transparent water, more powerful water treatment system. And this is in principle a minor problem. Everything can be easily solved. The most important is to solve the farming temperature issue, in case you locate the farm in some region where the temperatures are usually high. The next point is that, of course, the margin is lower, compared with sturgeon, for example. There is high demand for this fish, the market is huge, but the margin is lower. The average selling price is between 5.5 and 7 US dollars, and that's wholesale with a prime cost of 4 US dollars. As for the price in retail, it's from 8 to 11 US dollars, so it's evident that the margin is not that high. In which case, I would recommend you to choose trout if you're an investor. Only in one case, if you want as simple marketing and sales as possible, if you don't want to bother with marketing at all and are willing to sacrifice margin, payback time. If so, super! Trout is your option. What a minimum capacity I would recommend. Probably for farming format, it's about 20 tons. Less than 20 tons I wouldn't recommend. This farm will already be too small. With lower capacity, the margin won't be that high, and you won't get much profit. As for the business format, the minimum is 50 tons. And again, I would not recommend to farm less than 50 tons because of low profitability. The maximum capacity on trout is unlimited, and it's also a significant advantage. If you farm 100-200 tons of sturgeon, that's probably the upper limit. 
With trout it's completely different. You can safely farm from 500 to 1000 tons if you are not planning a mass market takeover. You might be sure about good and relatively easy sales, and you will become just one of numerous players at this market. Or you may decide to grow 3000, even 5000 tons if you are planning a serious market takeover. What if the 500 1000 tons? Any enterprise grows those volumes and feels fine on the market. So keep in mind that 500 1000 tons is quite normal and standard for trout. That is probably all. I have nothing more to say. Let's now talk about the next species, which is African catfish. African catfish. I've got a lot of videos on this type of fish. Follow next videos if you are interested. It's a tropical fish that was imported from Africa. They've learned to farm it in Holland. It grows phenomenally fast at astonishing stocking densities. And in general, it's a kind of unique fish. But it has some shortcomings, of course. Let's consider them in detail. To begin with, let's first talk about the general parameters of its farming. The temperature should be 26-28 degrees Celsius. Tanks up to 10 cubic meters. You cannot use large tanks on African catfish. But you can take any depth, any size, shape. It's absolutely unimportant. Catfish doesn't require oxygen. Grows up to 1.5 kilograms in 5-6 months. It grows much faster than other fish species. You can buy fry all year round. It's also very easy to farm your own fry, without spending any money at all. So the growth rate from fry to 1.5 kg grow out fish is approximately 4-5 months, to, to 2.5 kg approximately 6-7 months. What exchange? One exchange per hour. It's standard on African catfish. Its average prime cost is 1.72 US dollars per kilogram. The cost of sales is 2.5-3.5 US dollars. It's wholesale. And from 3.5 to 4.5 US dollars, it's retail. But in fact, and I need to reiterate it, few farmers sell it live or chilled. Practically everyone sells it as the product of deep processing. What are the pros of growing African catfish? Well, first of all, it's super easy to farm it tolerates very high stock intensities. You don't need a large building, you don't need to supply oxygen. The water treatment system only needs to contain powerful mechanical and biological treatment units. Tanks of all shapes and sizes. You can grow African catfish yourself without any special skills and training. Special qualification is required only if you have your own incubation department. Well, and the range of products of catfish deep processing is practically unlimited. And this fish has very classy indicators. I mean, it has great taste. Everybody who has tasted African catfish says, wow, great, but for some reason it's still not widespread in Russia. Well, that's probably all about the advantages. Now let's talk about its disadvantages. And there are only few, but they are very serious. The first disadvantage is its reputation. It's believed that it's a scavenger which smells and tastes like sludge. So everything that people know about classic European catfish is automatically transferred to African catfish. That's the first thing. The second thing is marketing component. If you sell it live with its head and its huge mustached head that girls just shy away from, they're really just scared of it. So people don't buy it. Thus, you should prepare in advance that sales won't be easy. That is, the market for African catfish certainly exists. It has already been created by some farms, but it's still small. So you should sell African catfish taking deep processing into account. Well, here are the disadvantages. They relate only to marketing. In which cases would I recommend farming African catfish if you are an investor? It's very simple. If you are not scared of difficulties with sales, you are willing to do your own marketing and develop your own brand, and also you are willing to go into deep processing. If you are ready to take care of all these aspects, I would recommend growing African catfish, as it's a very interesting fish in terms of farm economics. Now let's talk about minimum and maximum capacity. Well, probably for the self-employment, I would recommend a minimum of 30-40 tons. Anything less is already non-profitable, because the margin per kilogram is relatively low. And for the industrial business format, when you are ready to hire stuff, it's 60-80 tons. This is the objective minimum, which I would recommend that you start with. The actual maximum capacity is unlimited. If you are not planning to take over the market outright, it could be 500-1000 tons. This is such an average optimum. If you want to get serious about marketing and are ready to invest in it, then you can easily grow 3-5 thousand tons per year, process it into semi-finished products and, for example, into the supermarket chains. This is also possible if you understand what you are doing. Friends, today we have talked about trout and African catfish major farming parameters and aspects. 
I hope you found it useful. However, it's not all the information on choosing fish species for farming in RAS that I wanted to share with you, so one more video will follow. It will also be dedicated to this important topic. This is Anton Pelcher. Press the like button and subscribe to my channel, the channel on how to farm fish and earn good money from it. Bye!